It's a great day to paint something soft. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to paint baby chicks. There we go. The secret to painting soft edges is to do it while the paint is wet. So I'm going to mix up some yellow watercolor. This is lemon yellow. And I'm going to add quite a bit of water to it so that it's quite wet. And then I'm going to mix up my background color. And I'm going to mix up some shadow green, really, really dark. I'm going to mix up some phthalo blue. I'm going to add some dioxazine purple. And what's important are their dark colors. It doesn't matter. You could have any colors you want. They just need to be really dark. I'm going to make a little bit, that's bright green, but that'll make up for my shadow green, which is really, really almost black. I want to still have some color to the tone. So now that I've got all my colors ready, we're going to jump right in and make soft baby chicks. I'm going to uh, put a base coat of yellow around my chicks that I have drawn on. I have the drawing here and I have a photograph of my models. And then I have a finished painting. And I'm going to sh quick just show you how I achieved this softness in making these baby chicks. While it's still wet, I added the darker color here. Here is a little uh, Monte Amiata Natural Sienna. I'm going to put that along this side of the chick. And I've got it a little wet. So it's making kind of a psychedelic pattern. That's kind of neat clean out my brush and I'll get one more layer of something even a little darker. Go over here to a quinacridone gold color and I'll spot some of that in there. I'm getting psychedelic. And before I get too dry here, I'm going to go up next to it with the background color. And when the time is right, it has to be that magic timing. Just reached in and got some blue, so I have a variety. I'm going to gently touch the yellow and the background color together while it's still wet and watch the magic happen right there. There is a soft chick. It might even be too soft. The wetter your paint is, the hairier your chick will be. You can lift it up and kind of control where you want it to go. You can also go back in and put some other colors back and forth until you're happy with it. This is a scary thing to do, and I know a bunch of you are going, ah! but remember, you're in control. You are in control. And uh, just uh, keep going back and forth until you get the results you want. Okay? So that is essentially how we build this little chicken and create those soft areas. And as long as my paint has a bead of wetness, I can manipulate it around. I'm going to throw some purple in there. Go find some blue. Make a variety of colors right there. Now, if you want to stop in that area, because I do have some things happening. I've got another chick here. I've got some darkness. You don't have to do it all at one time. Do the area that you can manage. So if I want to stop, what I would do is soften this edge with water, and then I can come back and do another layer over top, and I won't have to fight a hard edge that I'm building. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to soften it, 
I'm going to manage this puddle that came out here. I'm going to scoop up a little bit of that yellow and I'm going to replace it with a little bit of green. So see how I controlled that puddle that I didn't want to have happen there? We can continue to control it. And if I wait till it's just at the right drying density, you can get just what you want. Sometimes you have to be patient and go back a few times to do that. And sometimes you have to let some of this happen and see if you like it. Remember, if you, if you don't like it, you can always go back and fix it later, at a later stage. And uh, as far as all the details, the beak and the eye, that's going to come later after it's all dry. So, that's essentially how we create the softness of a baby chick. It's a great day to paint soft.